Hi guys, it's me. So I hope you're having a great day today. So today we are just going to make some abstract painted gift bags. Um, these bags I got from like Walmart and I'm just going to start out just scribbling on them. They're just lunch sacks. And then um, you're going to see that I am going to try to get this paint out. <laughs> but I'm just putting down colors really that were on my desk. Um, I really didn't overthink this. I just took like a white pen pencil color pencil and I just scribbled a little bit and I'm just gonna add color um, I'm just trying to get that orange color open because it's clogged and I got it there <laughs> so I'm squirting it down and then I'm just gonna take just a bunch of different brushes and just lay down color again I'm not overthinking this I have no idea um, what I'm doing um, I just want it just to be loose and um, just have a lot of interest and color and a lot of movement and be very expressive um, so I like to do projects like this where it's just not about an end result it's just very abstract and very fun so I'm going to cover up some of my pencil marks and I do add a little bit of white just to add a little bit of variation in tones because um, I think that's interesting to my eye um, so really this is just really about playing really but creating something that's really beautiful um, and here I just take a ballpoint pen and I just make some more scribbles um, I was able to get some Stabilo um, woody pencils um, so I'm using the green color there and I really love those you can activate them with water and they go on really smooth and they're creamy um, so those are super fun to use I'll put them below in case um, you want to try them out <laughs> they're really awesome I like them a lot I'm so glad that I got them and they go on so smooth and these um, bags um, they're just paper honestly um, they don't have a coating or anything they're super thin and um, but they work really really well and they take paint um, pretty pretty well too um, so I'm gonna start with the front side and here I'm just adding some circles and I'm just taking some of the circles away so it's just this constant play um, and I like that I'm working on two bags um, because I can kind of let the other one dry a little bit or if I'm out of ideas for the other one I can move on to this one here and I added some crosses with the blue um, woody pencil and here I'm just filling in some of the circles that I made and making some circles and I'm adding splatters because that's my favorite and I'm just going to turn over on this just piece of construction paper um, and then I'm going to add some black because I love contrast so there I just added some just very loose kind of streaks um, or brush strokes um, that are a little bit arching and then I'm gonna add some black marks and I did some dripping I have a spray bottle there again just stuff that I had on my desk honestly um, and I think I cover up most of that anyway <laughs> but it's fun to just play and then I'm gonna add some black stabilo there and uh, maybe activate that a bit add some splatters because I love splatters and just play and activate that those lines and those dashes I really like dashes in my work and lines so um, those are what I am primarily attracted to and then I'm going to add some of this turquoise color from deco arts which is really pretty and I think it needs some more black so I'm going to add some scribbles I'm just going to take my brush and just scribble and I'm using a few size of brushes here so I have a really a small like round brush and then I have a bigger brush so that's fun and then I'm gonna start painting the back um, and you'll see because I'm gonna like go so you can actually hear me talking at the end of this process I'll just kind of go over what I'm doing um, but I forgot to put the flap down um, so you'll see that I'll remember that and then I'll try to fix it and I did not let this dry I recommend that you let each side dry I just kind of got into the into the process so um, it's gonna stick a little bit so I do have to go back to the front and fix that in a second and you see I'm kind of checking it now like oops maybe I shouldn't have done that or at least put a piece of plastic down um, do not be like me <laughs> and I'm sorry the lights coming in it always comes in um, at this time um, so you can't really see that other one so I have to remember that next time to bring it over so you guys can see it but I think I'll pull it over in a second and you'll be able to see but I'm just scribbling um, into the wet paint which is really fun and that's it that is all that I'm gonna do
So I'm just having fun. I'm doing some finger painting. I'm going to do that because I love to finger paint. And I'm just basically using the same colors and seeing how far um, I can take this and how interesting um, it can be. So I think maybe I'll let you watch maybe the last um, few minutes um, just with some music and kind of just watch me basically throw down some paint <laughs> and that's about it. You're going to see I'm going to um, paint some labels and I explain that in the end to you too. So I hope that you make these gift bags. You can even use like the brown like sandwich bags that you get at the dollar store. I just happened to be at Walmart and they had these white ones and I just wanted to play with them. So that's what I did. So hope you enjoy this process. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> So many things that I remember The way you used to put me first in things you did Haven't seen your face since last November I keep following up, but we ran out of time Looking back, a love seems like a daydream Even now I visit every single place we've been All the time we spent together changed me I stay hot on the days before we said goodbye I'm regretting these feelings I feel for you Asking why Did we fall from love I get high Off the top Faded away They say what happens happens for a reason Then why am I stuck without you by my side I get high just thinking about our memories And even though it ended it was worth each pain The love we had will last a hundred centuries You were special to me I keep you tucked inside No regret these feels I feel I'm asking why
Hi guys, so we're all done with our fainted abstract gift bag. So this is how they turned out. They're really cool. I love the way that they look. Um, so I just took a dress labels and I'm just going to peel them up and I am going to stick them on the back. So I'll put my gift inside and then I can roll this up like so and put a label on there. Either this way you could even write something on there if you want it. It's not totally dry. I have patience problems, apparently. And then like this too. And I didn't, I forgot that these had a flap on them, so I didn't paint them. So probably when you paint them, it'd be good if you pushed it down a bit. But I love the way these turned out. These are so cute and they're so much fun. And I just used just regular, um, just bags that you get from like Walmart gift bags. Um, they come in a pack. You can also order them on Amazon. I'll link that below. And if you didn't want to paint, you could just do black and white polka dots. I thought that would be fun. So just really fun. And I have a ton of labels. So it's fun. My mom, um, when she used to work, she's retired now. They gave away lots of office supplies like this. Um, they used to give it to their employees. So you could even like fold this down if you wanted. Do something like that and then put it down but really fun very easy project so I hope you guys make a ton of these because they're so fun and they're so cool and um, just a little bit about my process which um, I'll kind of explain while I'm going through you know you just they're very abstract um, I got to use my new woodies but you don't need these you could use just whatever you have and just grab some paint colors and have fun and go at it so I hope you guys make some of these abstract painted um, gift bags and I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching and being with me. Bye bye.